Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or hello everybody welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression and a swatch video on the new Becca foundations. These are their 24 hour wear um, ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation. I got this in the mail. I think it was last week or the week before this huge box with foundations in it and I literally could not stop smiling after I opened it. It is, like I said, they're brand new foundations that they came out with and they have so many beautiful colors. They range from very, very fair to very, very rich and dark. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and do a first impression. Penny, stop sneezing while I'm talking. So I'm gonna do a first impression with the color that of course matches me. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch every single color for you guys. So if you wanna go ahead and fast forward, just to kind of see what the swatches look like, you are more than welcome to. I'll leave down below the timestamp of where you can go ahead and do that. But for today, I'm gonna to be doing my review on my color. I've never worn this foundation. This is the very first time wearing with you guys today so i am very 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 excited i love pretty much every single becca foundation i have the um, ultimate coverage complexion foundation as well as the aqua luminous foundation in my makeup kit i wear them and i use them i wear them personally and i use them on all of my clients especially brides and so i think that's a big thumbs up when you can use these foundations on bridal because when it comes to brides they want their makeup to last all day and it is a very 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 long day when it comes to weddings and I 100% back the Becca brand when it comes to foundations and so so many of their other products as well so thank you so much Becca for sending this my way I honestly was not expecting this so I am so excited to be sharing with you guys the foundations today so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into doing my face makeup as you can see I did my eyes I wanted to do something kind of fun and glam today so I'm gonna be finishing up the eyes after I do my face but I came down here to do my face makeup with you guys I did already prime my skin I used my Becca um, first light priming filter so I'm gonna go ahead and now go with foundation so let's see which one <laughs> matches all right so i think today i'm going to go with this one this actually is my color in the um com complexion one so this is noisette i think that's how you say it don't kill me i'm so bad at pronouncing names so don't kill me so the thing i love about this foundation um is the fact that it is in a glass bottle so you can go ahead and see the color that you're using it also has a pump on it and that's one thing that i really love about that's this foundation compared to the complexion cream the complexion cream you can't see what color it is um so this is really exciting so i'm gonna be using this color today I already dampened my um, beauty sponge. And like I said, I did put my foundation down already. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump. Okay, so I did two pumps on the back of my hand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dot first, and then we can always go ahead and apply more. So using my beauty sponge, I'm kind of just getting right into it because I'm really excited to try out this foundation. So I can, as you can see, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm like not talking, which is horrible. As you can see, it blends out really, really beautifully. And the other thing that I'm really happy about is as you guys know, I've talked about it a million times, I do have acne scars right here and I feel like they covered up really good. Like if I kind of wipe it away, obviously they come through. But if I go in with some foundation, covers it up really nice. I did two pumps, but as you can see, I do have a little bit left over. So I feel like that really covered my face really, really well. So it does say that it is a full coverage foundation. It is great for sensitive, normal, dry skin types, combination, oily. It does have a very, very natural look to the skin. I don't think it looks, even though it's full coverage, I feel like it doesn't look too cakey, too over the top. It does look really, 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 really nice on the skin. It says it is an oil-free, which is good if you do have acne problems. Oil-free is always the way to go. An oil-free, full coverage looking foundation that wears and feels weightless on the skin with 24 hour water resistant wear. I feel like it is a little um, tacky, not too crazy. So I feel like you may not 
you don't want to. I don't feel like you, I always set my foundation, um, but I feel like it's not like too sticky, too tacky. I definitely have had other foundations on my face that are incredibly, incredibly tacky. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face with concealer powders and everything like that. And I will come back and give you guys a little bit more insight into this foundation. All right guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and finished my face makeup. I'll leave everything down below that I used. Um, I will say that this foundation, I think definitely looks very, it looks natural. And it also, I feel like it makes my face look like very airbrushed, which I absolutely love. Obviously we all wanna have that face makeup that looks like we have no imperfections, which is always great. Um, as you can see, like I said, I feel like it really good covered up this area good. Um, I feel like also my skin, but that's just me because I think of all the acne products that I use, my skin does feel a little bit dry right around here, especially around my mouth area. So I will go ahead and put a little bit of a moisturizing or a luminous spray on my face when I go upstairs. But other than that, I really do love this foundation. Like I said, I feel like it makes my skin look very like flawless, which is, thank God. I, I think if you wanna go ahead and build up more to get a full coverage, you can always go ahead and do that. For me, I don't really like the full, full coverage look. Um, but like I said, I feel like this is really, it is lightweight. I don't feel like I've had, I have a ton of makeup on my face, which is good. So yeah, as, so far as a first impression, I really do like this foundation. I'm gonna go ahead, go upstairs and finish up with my eyes and do my lips and everything like that. And then I will be back to give you guys kind of my final first impression. And then I will swatch the colors to you guys. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. I went ahead and finished. <coughs> All right, guys. So I went ahead and finished up. God bless you. Finished up my eyes. I did my face, lips, as you can see. And this is the completed look. I really do love this foundation. Like I said, I feel like it is not um cakey or heavy at all it definitely is a great coverage i went ahead and took a bunch of pictures which i will leave on the screen for you guys right now these photos are completely not retouched they're not smoothed out they're nothing this is exactly how the foundation looks in photography as you can see it just looks absolutely beautiful and i think this is going to be my new favorite foundation i really do love it like i said i feel like it blended out really beautifully if you are a person who's gonna wear this, I definitely would recommend using a beauty blender or a blender or a beauty sponge, I should say, uh, because I feel like it blended out really beautifully. And I feel like if you use a brush, it might, um, it just, I feel like this foundation, especially for me, because like I said, I do have right now normal skin, but my skin is very, very dry right in this area because I do, yeah, because I do use a lot of acne products kind of in this area. So being that my skin is dry, it definitely needed that kind of little moisture and kind of, um, kind of like smooth out the product in the sense that it's not so heavy, it's not so full coverage. For me personally, I loved using the sponge that way. I definitely will try it with a spot, uh, brush, but I think for me personally, I will always Always prefer the sponge um, especially with this kind of foundation because it is full coverage if you do use a brush let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you like it I don't think the brush is gonna make a difference it's gonna look so beautiful but for me with my dry skin I do need that little bit of moisture when applying the foundation so that's why I personally would recommend using a beauty sponge but anyway like I said I really do love this foundation I think that as you guys can see it looks really really beautiful on the skin and so I really do love it so another good one for Becca thank you guys so much again for sending all these foundations my way. Now for the swatches. I want to go ahead and swatch for you guys from the fairest to the deepest and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions or any other comments, leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.